Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and I like to uh, do all kinds of craft, mainly quilting. Um, if you are new here, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you are a return viewer, thank you so much for um, being here. I would like to make an announcement that I am going to be doing the sew along for the Barn Star sampler quilt. I'm going to go over the fabric choices that I have made um, to um, make this quilt. I have the book here. I'm going to be using the entire collection of the Tula Pink homemade collection. And this is the lighter and the darker version. I know this is not gonna be enough, so I'm going to be using all of my scraps from the actual um, leftover from when I made the spool quilt. I think it was in 2019. Um, these are my leftover from the kit that I purchased. So in, con in conjunction with the leftovers and the actual uh, fat quarters, I will also be using, I have here the, um, the Tiny Beast. I got this in my, um, in my sew sampler box a few months. I think it was uh, it was 2022. I'm going to be fuzzy, fuzzy cutting where I can to put in the middle. So that way it will have some interest in between. I'm also going to use, use the solid from it. And this right here, the actual dots with a different color of the um, bell solids, I'm going to probably leave it and frame it in here so when I am ready to purchase a um, like a Bella Salad from Moda, I will um, I will look at this right here to give me an idea what the color looks like. So I am going to keep this. I'm not cutting through it. I'm just going to be cutting this part in um, conjunction with all the all the fabric from Tula Pink fabric. So I'm going to use these. This is a Zen Chic line. She's also a Moda designer. I'm going to use that. I have leftover from Melissa Mortensen. I made the Let's Stay Home quilt back in, I think, 2019. I have a leftover, love that quilt. I think it was a really nice way to build my um, like different quilting technique. It had paper piecing, it had um, like hourglass made easier. Um, so it was it was a nice quilt, but you can't get it anymore. I'm just, you can get the pattern. And I will try to link the pattern on on the description below and her website is polka.chair.com melissa mortensen she's a, a designer for riley blake she's actually one of my favorite designer for riley blake i have different favorite but my first favorite is tulip pink and i like zen chic with moda and i also like melissa mortensen from riley blake so i am not a brand snob like that so anyways, just want to just get that out of the way. So this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be using this fabric. I'm going to be using Tiny Beast. My leftover. This right here. This entire collection. I'm pretty sure I will run out and then I will use the entire thing. And a lot. This fabric has where um, you have to fuzzy cut a lot of it. Um, I'm going to try as much as possible to do fuzzy cutting like this right here. I'm not, I've chosen not to use this fabric at all because I can fuzzy cut this on like an EPP. If I'm doing like a, like English paper piecing, I can fuzzy cut this and that's something to come. You can't do all this quilt without the pattern. So this is the pattern. If you have um, um, Triangle on a Roll by, um, I think it's It's So Emma, and um, at Fat Quarter Shop, that will make your lives so much easier making this quilt. So I plan on using um, Triangle on a Roll for this. And um, I think that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you're new here, we I'm going to be doing some different things using my own technique. If you would like to um, see that, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button again. Two thumbs up if you are enjoying what I'm showing you. With that being said, I am going to um, go and prepare for this quilt that I'm telling you about. I'm going to prepare my fabric, my backgrounds, and all the likes. 
So, but if you are new, don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you all on the next video.